So, Monday was a big day for us. We finally got our air source heat pump installed. With that, if it works as advertised, we will now be a hydrocarbon free household in that we will no longer purchase any form of fossil fuel, not for our cars, stove, water heater, furnace, lawnmower, nothing. And we say good riddance. Now, normally I would not post a video on a new piece of equipment until we had a good chance to test it out. But in this case, I felt compelled to get this video out quickly because I wanted to let homeowners in Canada know about the rebates that are currently available for heat pumps. I am truly torn about this because I have not had a chance to thoroughly test this unit out. I've not been able to try it out through the winter, but I figured as long as I'm upfront about that, then I can at least let people in Ontario know about the current rebates available for heat pumps. So where are these rebates coming from? What are they and who gets them? Well, Enbridge Gas and the Government of Canada's Greener Homes Grant have partnered to provide rebates towards eligible retrofits that would make homes more energy efficient. We're talking about things like home insulation, new doors and windows, etc. But today, we're focusing on heat pumps. Now, these rebates are actually available across Canada. However, Enbridge Gas won't necessarily be the outfit managing these rebates in all provinces. I live in Ontario, so I'll be discussing my experience living in that province. But for those of you who live in other provinces, I'm going to suggest you take a look at the Greener Home Rebates website. I'll leave a link in the video description or even just Google the terms Canada heat pump rebates. For the most part, if you're a homeowner and your home could be a detached house or a townhome and you're an Enbridge gas customer, then you're potentially eligible for the particular rebates that I'll be discussing today. If you're not an Enbridge gas customer, I believe there are still rebates available to you, but they might not be the same as the ones I'll be discussing. If you're interested in getting a heat pump for your home and you'd like to pursue the heat pump rebates, here's what you would need to do. Call and schedule an initial home energy assessment with a registered energy advisor. Now this part could be tricky, I suppose, but I can tell you that the businesses that install heat pumps under this grant program generally have a few energy advisors who they can recommend or even book on your behalf. So you could actually start your search by Googling those terms I mentioned before, heat pump, rebates, and then maybe add the name of your town, city, or region. Personally, I used a firm that a friend of mine was familiar with and recommended, and I would always suggest starting out with some sort of personal connection and referral. Now, one of the technical issues that will be considered by the energy advisor when they visit you at your home is if your furnace can accommodate a heat pump. The heat pumps work with your furnace. They don't replace the furnace. Another issue that they might look at is your electrical panel and whether it could handle the load required by the heat pump. In general, the more modern your furnace is, the more likely it is that a heat pump will be able to work with it. The energy advisor will provide a custom report with recommended upgrades. Hopefully, a heat pump will be one of them. Then you will complete at least one of the eligible upgrades indicated on your custom report. In this case, we're looking at the heat pump installation. Now, as I said before, the heat pump works with your furnace, so you don't get rid of that. But it will replace any existing central air unit you might have. So hopefully, if you have a central air unit, you might be able to sell it on Kijiji or something like that. After the installation, you then schedule a follow-up home energy assessment. The energy advisor will come back to your home, complete your follow-up home energy assessment, and then either fill out and submit your rebate application on your behalf or possibly help guide you through the process. 
Either way, a few months later, you should hopefully receive your rebate check, including up to $600 for the energy assessments. In total, the rebates available add up to $7,100. $600 of that is specifically for the energy assessments. So that leaves up to $6,500 for the purchase and installation of a heat pump. In our case, the rebate really covered everything except the tax. So we ended up paying a little over $900 to get our heat pump installed. As a final thought, I should highlight the fact that there is invariably just a certain amount of money set aside for this rebate program. And that has to mean that some of the folks who buy and install a heat pump and then apply for the rebate won't end up getting reimbursed. So my advice would be don't buy one of these heat pumps unless you can afford it and unless you're willing to pay out the money it will cost to buy it and install it. To get more tangible ideas on how to lower your carbon footprint, please visit the Green Neighbour website at www.green-neighbour.com. And I'll point out that neighbour is spelled the Canadian way. If you have any questions, thoughts or ideas, please drop me a line over email or social media. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram and LinkedIn. If you'd like to learn more about what heat pumps are and how they work, take a look at this video right here.